guys, this is your reading for Friday the 26th of May. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the classic tarot again. So let's have a look at what the cards want us to be aware of and what we're working with today. I don't speak any Italian. I always avoided it because I can't roll my R's because um, because of my German kind of heritage, my R's are at the back of my throat. <laughs> like that. I can do that R. I can't roll the R's with my tongue like you need for Spanish and Italian. I can't do that. So I always avoided learning Italian because of that. And I chose French because they have the same <laughs> and I can do that. Anyway, that is totally beside the point. This is a time of reading for Friday the 26th of May 2017 and these cards are going to give you an insight into what is going on today. So first of all we've got the Emperor, then we have the the King, the Queen of Swords, she's called a Widow in this deck, so interesting. It, it, assigns totally different meanings this classic tarot than modern tarot so that's adding something to my repertoire because I've never thought of the queen of swords as a widow I've seen her as a judge as someone who makes good decisions but never a widow and then finally we have um, the two of cups in reverse all right so it's about relationships today we've got a man and a woman who are in a relationship the woman is logical and clear in her thinking and she makes a decision and she wants to follow that through but the man is steadfast firm does not comply just sits there and doesn't cooperate that will infuriate the queen of swords causing a rift in the relationship and causing the passion to abate somewhat. If you're in a relationship, it doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman or the woman and the woman or the man or the man. If you're in a relationship today, okay, and your partner comes up to you and is really excited about something. Oh my God, I have found this really great thing that I'm so excited about. If you sit there and you're rolling your eyes and you're thinking, oh my God, what kind of hair brain scheme am I going to have to listen to now? Then... That, if you're thinking like that anyway, then you're not meant to be together because then you already disrespect the other person's ideas and excitement. You shouldn't be together, okay? But if someone comes in with an idea, you're really busy, you're doing all of your work and stuff, don't dismiss them. Give, give your partner or the person in your life the time to hear them out because all she wants is to be heard. She wants to be heard and she has a genuinely good idea or he has a genuinely good idea and he or she knows it. This is a good idea. If the partner, the person in the world who's supposed to be closest to you and you're most intimate with, if you don't believe or you don't support your partner in this idea, there really will be problems in this relationship because that person will say, I really think this is the best idea I've ever had. And if my partner can't see that, then I really don't think we're compatible. So there's a really big potential for a rift here um, in relationships. I have said this is mainly romantic because we've got a man and a woman here. Like, um, you know, I mean, it seems very traditional. And then we have the, the two of cups here, but it could be any relationship in general, I would say as well. So the advice for today is if you don't want to alienate people or get people to be annoyed with you or to, um, cause any problems for you on this day, then take a little time out for other people. Listen to what they're saying. Don't dismiss them. Don't say, I'm too busy. It's really, you know, some days they will understand that. Like if you're really, if you've got a project and there's a deadline in four hours and your husband comes in and he says, I've just made the best kind of cake. Come and look at it. Or I've built a shed. Come and look at it. Then, you know, if you say, I've got a deadline in three hours, I'll come look at it afterwards, then that's understandable, okay? And that's not going to cause problems. But here, it's like a total dismissal of, I don't want to hear what you've got to say. I don't want to hear what you're thinking. It's a sense of disrespect. It's a sense of, I'm not interested in you. And that's why she says, I don't love you anymore. I am now going off to find a new emperor. 
See you later. Goodbye. Okay. So if you, this is the, it's another warning, I suppose. It's, it's really, make sure you listen to people. Make sure that you don't alienate people by, by, um, kind of half tuning in, half tuning out, assuming what they're about when you're not really engaging with them. It's really about not being so immovable, being more flexible and understanding that other people have good ideas too and you're not the be all and end all and you have to have some respect for other people if you want to maintain friendships or relationships or these kind of things. What's interesting here, is that an eagle or a dodo? It looks a bit like a dodo. From maybe he's the Emperor of Mauritius, who knows. Okay, number wise, we've got four, and this is a court card, so that's one. So we've got um, four and one is five. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because usually they put a five and a one in Roman numerals, and they've done four, so that threw me a bit. Four and one is five, and two is seven. Seven is about mind and creativity, okay? So deliberately say to yourself, I will respect other people, make time for other people's ideas and thoughts, and I will communicate. I will reserve judgment until I've heard them out. And I will try and be a little bit more open-minded today so that I don't alienate other people around me. Okay, very specific message. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, then please visit my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the reading tab to audio reading. We can look at anything at all. We can look at what's coming up for you in your love life or money-wise or what the best career for you would be or what your life purpose is, what your mission is here on earth, what's coming up in 2017, 18 and beyond. We can look at anything at all you're interested in. At gregoryscott.com, click on the reading tab to audio reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.